Hey everyone. It is a gorgeous fall day here in Northeastern America where I live. So I decided I had to take advantage of it and go for a walk. And as I'm walking today, I've been noticing all of the gorgeous fall leaves all around me on the trees and on the ground. It happens every year, right? The leaves go from green to brown or yellow or red or sometimes all three, if you live where I do. But I've never really thought so much about why or how. Why do they fall from the trees? Why do they change colors? And how do they all change different colors? They all started out as green. Why do some end up red? Why do some end up yellow? It's a really sticky problem in my brain today. So I'd really love to find out. No, I need to find out. But who can I ask? Kind of sounds like a question for a scientist, right? Do I know any scientists? Hmm. <gasps> of course I do. Marvin Mist, scientist, he'll definitely have the answer to this question. So how about we collect some leaves, we take them to Marvin, and we get the answer to our big question. Come on, let's go. Look at these. Ooh. Hello? Hey, you glad you're here today. Let's have some fun and seize the day. Here it's safe to feel it's part of being rude. Let's write our own adventures and laugh. Welcome to my laboratory. I am Dr. Marvin Mist, in fact, a scientist. Now Betty has asked me today to help figure out why all of the leaves change the colors in the fall. Some are green, and then they turn yellow, and orange, and red. So we are going to do an experimental journey to figure out why and how the leaves change color. So Betty gave me a bunch of leaves she collected. So. The first thing I wanted to do is sort them into different color piles. So we have the green pile, the yellow pile, the orange pile, and the red pile. I've got a few left, I'll show you how I did it. Oh, this one's yellow. This one's red, yellow, yellow, red. You'll get the idea. Okay, so now the next part which is very exciting, is we're going to tear the leaves into small pieces. So you could do this with scissors, if you're welcome to use scissors in your household, check with your grown-ups, or you could just tear them with your hands. Now, if you're new to the tearing game, this is very important. First, we only tear things that we have been told we're allowed to tear. In this case, leaves only. And if you need help tearing, you're gonna take Pinch your fingers on this hand, put them on the leaf. Pinch your fingers on this hand, put them on the leaf. Now, one hand is going forward, the other hand's going backwards. So I'm gonna go forwards and backwards and pull. Hey, I tore it. And you can do it again. Pinch your fingers, pinch your fingers, forward, backward, pull. Oh yeah, okay, that's the good stuff. Pinch your fingers, pinch your fingers, forward, backward, pull. You just keep doing that and until it's a teeny, tiny little pieces. Okie dokie. The reason we tore up all of our leaves into little teeny tiny pieces is that that lets us get at the insides of the leaves. Now some of the insides are out in the open and that's gonna let us get the color out. And then once we get the color out, we can figure out what it is, how it got there and why. There are four things you will need for this experiment. Number one, water right from the sink is fine. Next, is rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol if you want to get fancy. You probably already have this at home. Keep it with the first aid kit or the band-aids, okay? Ask your parents, they'll know what to do. Then you're gonna need a one teaspoon measuring spoon and something to mash with. Boing! But not yourself, only the leaves. Okie dokie. With each cup of leaves, you're going to take your leaves, you're going to add two one teaspoons of rubbing alcohol. One and two. Okie dokie. Now, take your mashing stick. You can mash it in the fancy bowl, but in the glass works just as fine. Now, I'm going to use my big 
big, strong muscles. And I'm going to mash, 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 mash. So we're really mashing these around to get the good stuff inside the leaves, out of the leaves, like the color. Okay, so we've got our teeny pieces with the outsides of the leaves exposed. We mashed them up really good to get the inside stuff out. Now, we're gonna add some water to each jar, okay? So, I spent five minutes mashing up these with the rubbing alcohol. Now I'm adding my water. Okie dokie. We've now got four jars, four different colors of leaves, each with rubbing alcohol, water. They've been mashed and torn. And now, we're gonna wait a day. But we're gonna fast forward for our purposes. Just kidding, we're gonna fast forward. So, we all know life isn't matching, right? You can't fast forward real time. So these are the leaves I just mashed up, but these leaves I did yesterday. I know waiting can be hard, but it's important in this experiment. These leaves I mashed up yesterday and let them sit a whole day so I could make this video for you, okay? So these leaves have sat for a day, and they're rubbing alcohol and water. Now we're going to drain the liquid out and see if the color came out of the leaves. All right, so I'm gonna take a strainer. One, two, doesn't matter what size. Okay, we're gonna start with green. And put it over the dish. Get the good stuff out. Put, mash and mash the rest of the liquid. Wow, okie dokie. I have a trash bowl. Okay, I'm gonna compost these leaves outside in my yard so they don't go to waste. Okay, next, yellow. Orange. Orange, you glad we're doing this experiment? Huh, I am. Yeah, the red. Oh, oh boy. Hachi, hachi. Okay, now. We have our four different colored liquids from our four different sets of leaves. We've got our green, yellow, orange, and red. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you why those colors came out of the leaves. So, every year when it's nice and warm and sunny in the spring and the summer, all the tree's leaves are full of something called chlorophyll. It's the stuff that makes them green. Chlorophyll turns sunlight into food for the tree. But when it starts to get cold outside, the chlorophyll says, I'm going to sleep, just like the tree. The chlorophyll goes away. Now it's orange and yellow's turn to party. So the carotenoids and the xanthophylls, we don't need to know those names, will hang out and say, hey, we're orange, we're yellow, we've been hiding all year behind green. And then the leaves go to sleep, orange and yellow also disappear. Oh, and red. He shows up just in the fall to say, oh, I'm an anthocyacin, I'm red, look at me. The tree goes to sleep, he also goes away. Then, in the spring, the tree wakes up and says, oh, I'm so hungry. The chlorophyll comes back, turns the sunlight into food, and we do the dance all over again. Oh, wow, I'm so glad Betty asked a big question about why leaves change colors and how. We got to do this experiment and we found out the answer together. Science rocks. Thanks so much for being here today. Let's keep learning and growing and sciencing together. Hey, science! Whoa, thanks, Dr. Mist. That was so interesting. So it turns out that leaves have pigments of all kinds in them. It's just that the green pigment, chlorophyll, is so strong. But when the tree starts to go to sleep in the fall, then it's orange and yellow and reds turn to shine is so cool. So I was really inspired by all those colors. I thought I'd try and make a painting out of the colors we got from the leaves. But um, didn't quite go the way I planned. Turns out the colors don't look the same on paper as they do in the leaves. Well, I guess you could call that a fail, but at least I tried, right? I still wanted to make some art. So I took some of those leaves that I had gathered and I made leaf rubbings. Have you ever done this before? It's really, really cool. All you need is some paper, a couple of leaves from outside, and something I bet you have at home, crayons. 
So I'm just going to finish this one up quickly. I'm going to take my leaves, put them between my two pieces of paper. This one on top. Let's see. I'll use some green. And then you're just going to rub it on its side over the leaf. Whoa! And the leaf shows up. Hmm. I'll do this one in orange. Whoa! So now, leaf rubbings. That is so cool, friends. Thank you so much for asking the big question with me today and doing some investigating. I can't wait to do it again soon. See you next time. Bye.